This is what my eyebrows look like at the moment. Are you looking to boost your brow game? We'll call them Frida and Carla. These celebrities are certainly raising theirs. If you're tired of applying brow filler and spending hours getting the perfect look, microblading might be a good option. Oh my God, those are real! This semi-permanent technique will fill in your eyebrows and save you time. You'll get the shape you've always desired. But is microblading like a traditional tattoo? And why should you avoid swimming after the procedure? This is your body on microblading your eyebrows. Microblading involves using ink and a needle to make your eyebrows look fuller. You look like a Mexican teenager. It rules. Except the ink doesn't reach the deeper layers of skin. Instead, it's only drawn on the surface layer. It's very superficial. That's why this cosmetic tattoo isn't permanent. Thank you! You've made my decision easier! The color fades within 18 months. But how painful is it? And what are some of the other alternatives? Types of microblading. Manual microblading, also known as the embroidery technique, is the most frequent procedure. Your specialist will scratch the pigment into your skin using thin needles, each of them creating a hair stroke. That's how you'll get convincing eyebrow hairs. I don't need to get angry. The soft tap technique is less common. It involves pigment being tapped into your skin using a blade. Ooh, so exciting. Drawing a combination of lighter and darker areas will provide more depth to your brows. They're gone. No matter which style you go for, you'll need to prepare yourself for the first appointment. Preparation. If you're considering microblading, you'll want to find a technician with good online reviews. Looking at their before and after work might also be helpful, so make sure they can provide pictures. When your appointment is booked, you'll be given some steps to follow leading up to the procedure. This includes not waxing, threading, or tweezing your eyebrows in the week before your appointment. Holy mother of God! Oh. Ouch, I warned you. Similarly, avoid sun exposure and don't do any type of facial or peel at least two weeks prior. Don't drink alcohol for two days beforehand. It's a blood thinner that can slow down the healing process and stop taking ibuprofen and aspirin 24 hours prior. They will hamper your body's ability to clot blood. Ready to look dazzling? A princess. It's time for your first appointment. The procedure. During your consultation, bring images of styles you like to help the specialist determine which brow shape works best for you. I wanna look like these people. Looking for a thick and lustrous look like Zendaya? or maybe thin and refined like Nicole Kidman. They got you, fam. Once you've picked your chic new look, your brow area will be cleaned and numbed. The topical ointment takes about 40 minutes to kick in. While you're waiting, the technician may go over the specific shade you might like. You'll also have to choose a color that matches both your natural hair color and skin undertone. Oh, really? Then, symmetrical lines will be drawn on your eyebrows using this ruler. Do you like it? Let's get you new eyebrows then. The tool for microblading is nothing like a tattoo gun. The specialist will manually draw hair strokes. That noise is just the scratching of your own skin. If it's too painful, more numbing cream can be added. Phew, now you only feel a slight sensation. An aftercare ointment will be applied to your brow to help the tattoo heal. You can go home now. Okay. Oh, you don't know what to do next? I'll tell you all about the aftercare. After the session. Immediately after the procedure, your eyebrows may hurt. This looks so tragic. They may even be flaky the next day. If they look darker than planned, don't worry. This will only last for two weeks while any scabs you might have disappear. You'll have to wash your eyebrows every morning and night with water and antibacterial soap. Then gently pat the area to dry them. Applying coconut or rosehip oil will help with the healing process. You should also use sunscreen to prevent fading. You and your new look brows will be completely healed in 30 days. It's common to need a follow-up appointment four to eight weeks later to tweak any small parts or to refine details, so be prepared for that. Well, you're all set. 
But just to play devil's advocate, what could go wrong with this procedure? The risks. In some rare instances, you may have an allergic reaction. Don't use any makeup on the area for a week. I'm dying! You should also avoid swimming for at least 10 days. I can't swim. These activities can lead to infection. On top of that, you can lose some of the ink. They're really, really patchy. Your brows look great after one treatment, but remember that microblading strokes may blur if your skin becomes saturated with pigment due to repeated sessions. So you may want to consider undergoing alternatives in the future. Microshading uses tiny dots rather than strokes. The dye particles are less concentrated to give you a soft look, but your brows will look less defined. Or you could try microfeathering. It leaves you with less irritation because the strokes are finer and fewer. Wow, look at your new eyebrows. Oh, you like this? They look flawless. Here's the thing. Brows definitely aren't the most sensitive area to tattoo. Do you know which part of the body would hurt the most? Let's find out on another episode of Your Body On.